Hi friends, it's Nathan, a second year pharmacy student studying at the University of Waterloo. Welcome to my channel, welcome back to my channel. Since the beginning of April, the only thing I've been seeing on my YouTube homepage are college decision reaction videos. And although they're very entertaining to watch, they can also be gut-wrenching, especially if you got rejected from a school that somebody else got into. You're seeing all these students get into these prestigious schools and, you know, they're going school after school after school and they're finally opening that one school, that dream school, and they're crying and screaming because they actually got in. You're watching them live the greatest day of their lives, knowing that yours was the complete opposite. You wanted nothing more than to see those words, congratulations, but instead you saw, we are sorry. And so I wanted to sit down and have a conversation with anyone who got rejected from their dream school and hopefully provide some truth, perspective, encouragement, and ultimately closure. Truth, the application system is flawed. Anyone that says it is 100% fair is most likely coming from a place of privilege. The more money you have, the more schools you can apply to. You can afford to take expensive SAT prep classes and partake in sports, which we know provide a significant advantage to admissions. If you're not working a part-time job, you can spend more time on studying and building up your application. And then we have students that attend private feeder schools and then those legacy students. And, and I'm not here to critique the individual and their financial circumstances or downplay their hard work and efforts. Absolutely not. I'm simply here to acknowledge that there is a direct advantage between wealth and success in the college application system. We need to remember that colleges are businesses at the end of the day, so a lot of the times they will choose what benefits them financially. As well, there's so much mystery that happens in the admissions offices that you never really think about. For example, maybe the admissions officer was having a bad day and your application was reviewed that day. And as a result, all those applicants, all those students had lower grades than the day before or the day after. You can't be beating yourself up for things that you can't control. You submitted your application, the best application you are capable of, and the rest is up to interpretation, up to chance and fate. Perspective. Your effort was not for nothing. In high school and maybe all your life, you've been working hard, you've been making sacrifices for your extracurriculars and sports, you've been studying hard for your exams, all so that you could get into your top choice school. And for the past four years, your goal was to get into that school, which made you view all your achievements as stepping stones to get into college. And that mentality can be very damaging. Here's an analogy. Your life is like a staircase. Every single step is an achievement. A step could be a good grade. It could be a medal in a sport, an internship, etc. And the top of the stairs, step number 20, is your acceptance from your dream school. Let's say you are standing on step number eight, and this represents a moment from your past. All you can see is step number nine. So when you do achieve step number nine, you're happy, you're joyous because you can step up, you can walk up, it's in that current moment. Today, on College Decision Day, you are on step number 15, and you're still looking at step number 20, the top of the stairs. But that doesn't exist anymore because you didn't get an offer from that school. And I know it sounds bleak, but it doesn't exist anymore. So essentially, all those steps from steps 15 to 20 are gone, they're erased, and you're now at the top of your staircase. You are at the top now, and when you're at the top, the only place to look is down. So you're seeing all your past achievements, and you can be proud of that, you can relish in that. And at the top sits all the colleges that you did hear back. So all those achievements that you made down the line was to get you to this point, to get you into all of these still amazing schools. Before we move on to the next video, I want to tell you about Love Your Teeth, who I've partnered with for today's video. So I'm actually in New York City doing some traveling, as you can see from the change in background, and I've been taking a lot of smiling photos. So for the past few days, I have been using Love Your Teeth to help brighten my smile. This product was created by a dentist and uses blue light technology to remove stains on natural teeth, but also false surfaces like caps, crowns, and veneers. I do have sensitive teeth, and I am reminded by that every time I eat ice cream, but with this product, there's no irritation due to their aloe white technology. So let's do a treatment right now. 
I already brushed my teeth, so I'm going to take a Love Your Teeth applicator, slide it out, and insert it back on the other end with the applicator tip pointing out. I'm going to pinch the capsule till you hear a snap to release the solution, point it down, and let it saturate. Using a firm circular motion, I'm going to swell my teeth with the whitening solution for about two minutes to make sure my teeth are fully covered, avoiding the lips and gums. I'm going to turn on the LED smile light, place it in my mouth for 10 minutes, biting down to hold it in place. Then I'm not going to eat or drink anything for 30 minutes after each treatment, rinse the mouthpiece, and then I'm done. Here is a before and after, and in three days, my teeth have become four shades whiter, which is absolutely insane. They have a current promotion of 50% off their Pro Renewal Whitening System and a free Go Pen with purchase. So if you want a whiter and healthier smile, go click the link in my description box. Thank you, love your teeth, and let's continue on with the video. Encouragement. You are meant to go wherever you go. I am a firm believer that everything works out for the better. I know you had a dream school, but I promise you that you will love the experience wherever you end up. You will still get a great education, you will still make friends, you will still be able to do everything that you wanted to in college, as long as you're not thinking of it as a subpar option. All my friends that went to a school that wasn't their intended school all said they loved it and couldn't imagine them anywhere else. And we can't be making comparisons because we only have one experience. If you're at school A, you're not comparing school A with school B. You're comparing the reality of school A with an ideal or expectation of school B. You can't be comparing them. And once you're a freshman, if it's really not for you, you can always transfer. That's always an option. I just don't want you to think that if you don't get into the dream school, it's the end of the world. And I know in that moment it will feel like it. And I promise you that time will heal everything. And you're probably getting all these messages saying they don't deserve you. It's their loss. And again, those things I know don't make you feel any better. It's just time. But I want you to remember that you will still get a great college experience wherever you go as long as you remain open-minded and receptive. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a like. Let me know in the comments what school you got rejected from and what schools you got into. It's a safe space and we're here to support each other as students. If you want to see more study tips, more study vlogs, college content, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notified every time I post a new video. And if you want to see more of my day-to-day -day life as a college student, make sure to follow me on Instagram at Nathan.Wu. As well, I've been posting lots of funny, relatable student reels that you guys are loving and blowing up every time. So thank you for that. And if you want to see more laughs, follow me on TikTok at It's Nathan Wu. But that's it for me, and I'll see you friends in the next video. Bye.